Hey guys, I'm back for another video and baby, we are serving a look with this wig, okay? If you're interested in seeing where I got this wig from, then I want you guys to keep on watching. All right guys, so I'm back looking busted and toe up with my wig cap on there's stuff on my shirt it's your girl Tasha Chanel and you can't expect anything less from me anyways let's go ahead and get this started first step I need to cut this wig cap and make a ball cap so let's go ahead and all do right that. guys so next I have all the tools my scissors so that I can cut the lace off of the wig I have my clips to keep the hair out of my face I have these clips just in case I need to put it up in a ponytail and then I have my edge brush here now I can use this to formulate baby hairs I'm not too sure of what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna have it nearby I also have my witch hazel cleansing cloths. This is going to be better than alcohol. It doesn't dry my skin. Just cleaning up the residue that I might get when I am using the Ebon Wonder Lace. This is going to be a glueless install, you guys. I am going to be using the Flyaway Tamer because when I first pull the wig out, it usually has a lot of flyaways and that wax stick is going to help out. I also have some bobby pins here because I'm going to need to pin back the back of the wig to make sure that it is nice secure. And how are we going to get this lace melted with the elastic band? So that is my elastic band there. I also have a dryer that I'm going to be using on cool setting to dry the ebb and wonder lace and then I have my pressing comb so that I can make sure that my wig is nice and flat so let's get into the wig so the wig that I am going to be reviewing is from a hair company called OMG Queen now this video is not sponsored by them I did purchase this wig with my own money if you guys are subscribed to my channel, you would already know that I have done a review on this company's wigs before, so I'm super excited to be doing it for you guys again. Right here we have in the box, normal packaging. I actually ordered three wigs, so that's what all the packaging in the inside is. But for this wig specifically, I opted for a kinky wig. This wig is part of their Skin Melt line. Okay, and I'm already loving the words. Okay, I am trying to get this wig to melt into my skin because what we're not trying to do is detect wig. We cannot be out here in 2022 detecting wigs. We are looking for straight scalps. So let's see if we can get this lace to melt. So I went ahead and did my ball cap method off camera. Now I used a knee high. However, I did cut it a little bit too far back in the front but what are we gonna do okay we just gonna roll with the punches right now i'm gonna prep the ball cap by making it somewhat a skin tone color i'm gonna do that by using my mac foundation and my brush the color that i'm using is a dark deep and what i'm trying to do is give that cap the illusion of scalp so we're just gonna put it all over the frontal part of the cap so let's open up this wig because I'm really interested in seeing what this company says is kinky. Every company, I believe, has a kinky texture type wig. Now, they're never all the same, okay? So I'm always intrigued to see what one company's kinky is over another. When I think of kinky, I think of a little bit closer to my own hair texture okay because what did i say before we're out here trying to give natural we're not trying to give wig but y'all look at this pattern is it giving what it needs to give oh my gosh i definitely think it is so let's go ahead and jump into the specs of the wig okay so we have four combs there are two on the side 
one on the top. Now, y'all, I don't use those combs because, baby, these edges ain't edging, okay? So if you want to, you can go ahead and remove them. I just leave them in, but I typically use the comb in the back, and I love that they made it a long comb and not a short one. Now, to make sure my wig is extra secure, I'm going to be using that elastic band and adjusting those straps, okay? The elastic band is on the side, but wait a minute. That elastic band, baby, yes, this is important. You need to measure it on your head first before you put your wig on, okay? Because we ain't out here trying to have headaches, even though I be giving myself headaches all the time. But this is going to secure our wig, okay? And help with this skin melt. Okay, so we finally got her on and she's giving length okay 22 inches to be exact y'all i am five two and a quarter and yeah this is hitting me past my boobs but look at this pattern okay this is what kinky straight looks like all right it is giving i just got my hair blow dried and look at this parting space okay now it is giving a little bit of widow's peak but from the tip of my fingers that's how much parting space that you get okay you can do a lot with that six inch parting space okay now i don't know what i feel about this widow's peak because i personally i would cut it off um, and just make it be more natural for my head. But y'all get into this hairline, okay? Pre-plucked, okay? This is a very beginner-friendly wig. Look at that, y'all. Pre-plucked to perfection. She is giving natural hairline. We are not giving any boxed cut, okay? Nothing at all. But the, the knots, I don't know about that. So let's see what we could do. So I went ahead and used my True Match lace tint on the inside of the cap so that when I part, that it will give more of a skin tone color because around the perimeter, let's face it, it is giving HD, it's giving skin melt. The only issue that I have is that I feel like I could see the, the knots a little bit, but I don't wanna do anything to the wig. So we're gonna see what we can do. All right, so I got my hair pulled back and we're getting ready to cut this lace. Now, I'm just going to cut off a little bit of the lace just because it's just a little bit too much for me to work with to actually get this wig the way I want it. So I'm going to take, I'm going to trim off um, a good portion of the lace, but I'm also going to leave a good portion of the lace around so that I can work with this a little bit better, but I don't need all this lace. You're going to see how much lace that I end up with and you just don't need all that lace. That can go straight into the garbage, okay? So from here, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and line up the wig to make sure that I have it right where I want it, make sure that my ear tabs, this is probably the most hardest part, and I'm probably not gonna do this on camera, guys, but I need to cut the ear tabs off and get it to fit secure um, on each side um, and just kind of make it look more natural. But it gives me anxiety to cut this stuff while I'm on um, camera. So I'm gonna do it on both sides and I will come back and show you what I came up with. So I got the ear tabs off and what you mainly want to do is make sure that it's fitting nice and comfortable around your ear and on both sides too, okay? Sometimes you can cut off too much, but we just want to cut off just a little bit. Now what we want to do here next is just kind of make three or four different small cuts into the lace. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to be able to manage the application a little bit more sparingly, okay? What I mean about sparingly is you don't wanna try to put this whole entire wig down at one time. So you want to do it 
in sections. I guess sections is a better way of saying it, not sparingly, but in sections, okay? So what I'm doing is just cutting little sections that I can work with so that I can allow each section to kind of dry and it becomes a little bit more manageable for me to work with, whether as using it as a whole piece, okay? It just makes it easier to manipulate when it comes down to spraying the Eben Wonder Lace on it, okay? Imagine trying to do this whole thing at one time, okay? I ended up doing five, okay? And I just think that that's because, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I got a big head. But anyway, remember, I said this is glueless. So this is not glue, this is a holding spray. And we are going to go ahead and spray some around. And we are gonna get rid of that widow's peak too because it's just not giving for my forehead, okay? It's already big enough. So we're gonna cut that off as well. Now, one tool I forgot to mention in the beginning was this one. This is an eyebrow blade. It has a little blade on the end, and before you even ask, absolutely not. We're not gonna use it on our eyebrows. We are actually going to use it on the rest of the lace that we have. Now, why wouldn't you use the scissors? Because the scissors are is going to give you a more boxy, unrealistic, hairline okay and we're going for jagged okay that's how i got rid of my widow's peak and jagged looks a bit more natural we don't have straight hairlines out here so we want to give natural okay so now that we've gotten rid of most of the lace i'm trying to figure out if i want to add some baby hairs to this hairstyle i'm checking out the perimeter to see do i need to remove a little bit more of the lace around the perimeter or can i just get away with the way it's looking now now this is still the application process and we're going to get this wig together so don't fret you guys i know what y'all thinking Okay, so after playing around with the idea of baby hairs, I decided not to, okay? I'ma just roll with these little sideburns right here. Let's go ahead and lay this wig down, okay? Get it to melt into my skin. I have my nifty little elastic band that I got off of Amazon, you guys. I'll make sure I put the link down in the description box. It comes in a pack of four. I love it because the band is thick and it is Velcro. Now, you leave this on for approximately 10 minutes or so. It really depends on you. Okay now, we are getting somewhere. I am gonna be using my Dyson flat iron to run a few passes of heat through this hair. Not to make it flat per se, but just to see how the hair holds up to heat and how the hair goes from kinky to possibly a little bit straighter. Now I know y'all see those two elastic bands around my perimeter. Now I told y'all in the beginning that the reason why I liked the first band was because it was thick and it wasn't too tight, but baby, what did we say in the beginning of the video? We are going for skin melt. So I added a second band just to get it a little bit more tighter so that we can make sure that this melt is giving, okay? Y'all, look at this, okay? I've already ran like two passes now through this hair with heat. And okay, all right. It's not giving I'm straight, like bone straight, but... It's giving, okay, I just washed my hair, I blow dried it out, and I am flat ironing it myself. I'm not a good flat ironer, y'all. I dang near don't know even how to curl. But I'm not mad at this, okay? This is still giving a little kinky, but it's giving natural, and that's what we're going for. All right, guys, so let's not forget to make sure that we are taking care of our human hair wigs. This is a little heat protecting that I'm spraying on the wig and I'm gonna be using my T3 one and a quarter inch barrel curler to add a few curls in this wig. First and foremost, I wanna make sure that the wig is actually able to take a curl. Y'all, let me tell y'all, if y'all want me to do a review on this curling iron y'all just let me know down in the comments but 
as you can see already, this wig is able to hold the curls. Now, keep in mind, we already know it's a kinky straight wig. So the curls, they're not gonna be super tight and they're not probably gonna last you all day. I probably could have added some hairspray to it and maybe I would have gotten longer wear out of it. But, you know, I'm not a professional at curling my hair. So I am just throwing the curls in there just to get a little style going and for the purposes of the video, just so that you guys are able to see if this wig can actually hold a curl. So I'm gonna finish up here, add some more curls, and I'll come back. All right, so I have all the curls in my hair. I have pinned them up just to allow them to cool. And if you remember, I used my T3 curling iron one and a quarter inch barrel to get these curls. I am going to go ahead and turn around so you guys can kind of see the back. And then I'm going to get dressed and give you guys the final look. Yes, OMG Queen, we love this wig. I will leave all the info down to this wig in the description box you guys thank you for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so that you know the next time i post a video and i'll see you in the next one